New details in a story you saw only on Iowa News last night. We're cutting through Rhode Island's red tape, taking a hard look at regulations that make it tougher for local workers to get a job. We took our findings to one of the most powerful politicians in the state and learned that some changes could be coming for how Rhode Island handles this red tape. Iowa News anchor Steve Nielsen has the update. With the third highest unemployment rate in the country, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello says getting Rhode Islanders back to work is a top priority, and one way to do that is taking a close look at the state's heavy regulations. Farmers in Rhode Island know all too well red tape often stands in the way of good paying jobs. Does the licensing process discourage people from becoming a barber? Oh yes, definitely. According to a study by the Institute for Justice, a libertarian nonprofit, Rhode Island requires 350 days of experience and two exams to get a barber's license. But only 37 days of experience and the same number of exams to be an EMT. The list of tough regulations to get a job in the Ocean State goes on and on. Plus, it often costs hundreds of dollars just to take an exam to get a license. One of my priorities will be to look at the regulatory process, both in the state and at the municipal level. Since taking office in March, House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello says he's looking for ways to make it easier for Rhode Islanders to find jobs. We have an Office of Regulatory Reform whose primary function is to look at regulations and, and give us recommendations at what can and should be repealed. Unfortunately, the work has been a little slow. But that workflow could speed up next year. Mattiello says his office will be taking a hard look at the group charged with cutting back the state's red tape. In January, my small business committee will take a look at the process in the Office of Regulatory Reform and make sure they're being as productive as they can be. We're looking, we're watching, and we're going to make sure that uh, the office does the work that they're charged to do and that they're as productive as they need to be. The Office of Regulatory Reform has released quarterly updates on their work since 2012, and we've posted those updates on our website, WPRI.com, so you can see their work for yourself. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.